I will be showing you how to go from this to this. I will be comparing and benchmarking each major setting for graphics and performance differences so you can better optimize the game for your system. And I will be giving you my optimized settings as well. Let's start with the Temporal Upscaler. We can use TAA, FSR3 or DLSS. TAA looks decent in this game. However, FSR3 really surprised me in this title. It even manages to keep up with DLSS. It even looks sharper than the other two options. I'd still recommend you use DLSS if you have an RTX card. However, this doesn't mean that FSR3 is any inferior in this title. I actually think they're both about equal here. I would like to highlight that I absolutely couldn't tell the difference between native and ultra quality scaling modes. Just use the ultra quality for free FPS. There seems to be no visual difference between the fixed and biased setting. Biased seems to offer lower performance, so just use fixed. Motion blur is a very important part of the overall look of this game. It applies not only based on camera motion, but also per object depending on the player's speed, vision, and location. The spot shadow setting may possibly be broken, as I found the medium setting to be more consistent over the high setting. There are areas where the high setting seems to miss adding shadows, so it looks as flat as the low setting. Just use medium for the best image quality and performance, for now. The shadow proxy setting also seems to be broken and not working, as I couldn't find any difference visually or FPS wise. Maybe I'm missing something. Anyway, tell me if it works for you or not.
anyone would have a pretty hard time actually telling the difference between the diffuse reflection setting options. I'm still not quite sure how to explain the difference. So I will leave it up to you guys. But I'd recommend using medium or even low, as high definitely doesn't justify its performance impact. The volumetric clouds look absolutely horrendous in this game. Just use high if you don't want to be distracted by shimmering clouds every time you point your camera to the sky. Thankfully the performance cost is minimal. The object detail setting is the most important setting in this game. If you use lower values, you'll get irritating pop-in that will remind you of the PlayStation 1 era. Do yourself a favor and use 15 for a good balance of FPS and image quality. And never ever go below 12. The performance cost of this setting is definitely justified. This is the BVH quality setting. I want you to tell me if you noticed the difference between low and high or not. No? Well, how about this scene where it's applied for over 95% of the game? Couldn't tell the difference, could you? Then set it to low for slightly higher FPS. The micro detail quality setting is broken and doesn't make any difference to image quality or performance. Just set it to high according to the in-game image comparisons for now. I had a very hard time finding any scene to test the particle detail setting, as I couldn't tell any difference visually between all the options. But I'm sure there is a scene somewhere in the game where it matters and makes a difference, like the in-game image comparisons. Even in the in-game benchmark, I couldn't tell the difference between all the options, except that very low had slightly more FPS, while the other options had identical performance. So let's go according to the in-game image comparisons and set it to high. The scatter density setting seems to be broken as well. The low and medium options work just fine. However, high and ultra don't seem to make any changes over medium as it's supposed to, according to the in-game image comparisons. Just set it to medium for now. The dither fade setting is helpful for obvious reasons. With this setting enabled, 
it doesn't actually decrease your FPS. Performance is the same. However, with the setting disabled, you will actually get more FPS when a plant is in your face as the game doesn't need to render what's behind it. However, this only applies in very limited circumstances and since it doesn't actually affect overall performance, I recommend you keep this setting on. I couldn't find a scene where the spotlight projection resolution setting was obvious to test or even tell the difference between the options as they all look almost the same to me and I just couldn't tell what's actually different. Performance is identical as well. Maybe you can tell us more. The destruction quality setting seems to have identical performance across all options and no visible visual difference. Just use high. Considering how many settings are broken or buggy in this game, we still managed to get quite a respectable FPS boost with the optimized settings. I imagine we could have still squeezed out more FPS if those broken settings were working properly. And if you want even more FPS than shown here, I recommend you use the quality scaling option instead of the ultra quality option as I genuinely couldn't tell the difference between the scaling quality options in this game, which is questionably and unbelievably great. Anyway, this game is clearly very demanding, and it's very justified, no question about it. This is the most dense and lush game that I have ever played. It's a shame the gameplay is lacking, otherwise, this game had the potential to be the avatar of the gaming industry, as was the original Avatar movie to the movie industry.